Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Galaxy C7 versus the iPhone 6S. So uh, the C7 costs around uh, 52,000 PKR, which is around $520. Uh, in that price, you can get like a used iPhone 6S. Uh, the base 16 gigabyte model. So you can see the high-end Samsung Galaxy C7 is going uh, pretty close to the iPhone 6s when it comes to price. So let's just see uh, the speed here. Uh, you know which is going to be faster uh, with that with the money that you're gonna pay. So let's just boot them up at the same time and let's see here. So um, obviously the C7 is not a flagship phone uh, from Samsung. Still the Galaxy S7 is the king, uh, but it's still you know it's it's not a slow phone. Still pretty fast, and for the price, you know, it's uh, pretty close to the high-end phones like iPhone 6s or like uh, Xperia X or LG G5. So I might do the comparison with the G5. So you can see the iPhone 6s, uh, like you can expect, it's gonna be faster in booting up. That obviously display is a lot bigger on the C7. Uh, which is uh, 5.7 inch 1080p Super AMOLED HD while here of course it's 4.7 inch retina display uh, so you can see everything is closed up in the background and uh, both phones should be connected to the same Wi-Fi network so let me just uh, turn on the Wi-Fi here and connect it and uh, now it is done so let's uh, load up some similar applications first off we will start off with uh, the uh, the basic phone dollar you can see pretty equal let's see here messaging again no difference whatsoever um, we got photos versus the gallery again pretty similar I should say Let's go back and check out the let's see here we got settings I think that was faster on the iPhone because I did open the setting to connect to the Wi-Fi so it you know stores up in the memory so you can call it a draw again you guys are the judge here uh, but uh, yeah let's uh, see here more applications if we move towards uh, the calculator tool and again, uh, pretty similar speed on both phones. Uh, let's move towards some games. So, smash hit. Let's see here. Okay, so iPhone 6S faster. As expected, games uh, open way faster on iOS compared to Android. Uh, moving on, uh, we got the, uh, the Twitch. And it started to load up faster on the Galaxy C7. And for some reason, on the iPhone, I can't see the thumbnails. And now, okay, so it took some time. But definitely C7 faster. Uh, we got IMDB, another application that uses internet to refresh the content. And it seems like the Galaxy C7 is straight up uh, faster here. No doubt about that. Um, let's see here. We have the... Instagram on both phones, so we're going to be launching that at the same time. And uh, definitely the, uh, the the Galaxy C7 took the lead here, uh, showed the feed faster compared to the iPhone. Let's launch cameras. You can see iPhone just a tiny bit faster there. So uh, yeah, I mean, uh, definitely iPhone, of course, is a flagship, uh, you can say flagship, device from Apple as of now of course iPhone 7 will come next month and replace this but yeah it's uh, the C7 is doing a great job like I said it's a high performing phone it has a mid-range Snapdragon 625 uh, processor but that doesn't mean that it's a slow phone so 4 gigs of RAM for multitasking uh, moving on to the browser so we'll be using the Safari on the iPhone versus the internet browser on the uh, on the on the on the Galaxy Z7 so I'm gonna be cleaning up all the history so so first off we got WBE.com so I'm just gonna hit go at the same time and uh, it's gonna be interesting because iPhone it always performed better browsing wise um, so, okay, seems like the Galaxy C7 is done already. That was pretty fast. I did clear up all the history, so... Um, no, it's actually loading, so my mistake, and now it's done, so... 
yeah, it's, uh, yeah, uh, definitely iPhone is faster. My mistake. Again, you guys are to judge here. Um, let's see here. We got gsmarina.com. Same thing here. And uh, we're just going to hit go. And let's see if the uh, C7 can uh, make a comeback or not. Yes, it is, I think. It was pretty close. I think it was a draw. One, two, three, go. And see here which one is faster. And uh, pretty equal. iPhone 6S. Load the thumbnail faster. And see here. Whoa, again, the iPhone finishes off first. And then we have the Galaxy C7. So pretty close again. But the iPhone took the lead here in most of the websites here so uh let's do the uh, ram management test phone dollar so uh, opened up nicely on the c7 while well, on the iphone same thing here calculator let's see here if the calculator is opened or not okay accidentally got into settings come on where is calculator okay so no refresh smash hit iphone Perfect and uh, perfect multitasking with the Galaxy C7. So I've noticed that when you open like multiple games, uh, then the chance uh, is that uh, the C7 might close it. But here you can see that uh, most of the applications are still in the memory. Instagram, no problem whatsoever. Uh, let's see here if we go into the Instagram. This one, you can see no. Whoa. Okay, so it actually did a little bit refresh of the feed. Um, I don't know if that's a full refresh, so I'm just gonna lead that one to you guys. Um, let's see here, we got IMDB. And uh, you can see, loaded nicely on both devices. Let's see here, if we load up the latest browsers, Safari versus the, the Google Chrome. So you can see here. No refresh whatsoever. So uh, definitely one thing for sure is that the C7 uh, does provide a really high performing uh, experience overall, you know. So if we do a fingerprint sensor test here quickly, I'm just going to try to do this at the same time. Here we go. So you can see that both phones are pretty equal. Just a little bit difference in, in animation. iPhone has a kind of a slow animation, you could say, but unlocks almost the same time as the C7. So yeah, that was a speed test comparison uh, between the Galaxy C7 versus the iPhone 6S. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you did, then please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for future content. And uh, yeah, peace out.